Do something, please. Oh, shoot. That's why you wear glasses. Welcome back guys, we're right here for another Will It Start with a Marmon cab over. Pretty rare truck, wasn't a lot of them made. This thing's been sitting since 1996, according to this here Florida license plate. You can see right there, I'm not I'm not, not messing with you guys. So I've never started a Marmon, I've never driven one, never been around one. I found this thing for sale on Facebook Marketplace. If you're interested in buying it, it's still for sale. I'm not buying it, I have too many unfinished projects according to everybody, but the ad will be in the description down below. Check it out. Go buy it from the fella. He was nice enough to let us come out here and try to crank it. So let's have at it. All right, I should have wore jeans. Oh, spider. Where'd it go? Oh, they're all right in front of you. Yeah, there's, Brian's terrified of spiders, but spider webs. Oh, briars. <laughs> oh, the door's already open. Check that out. The, uh... oh, it's just beautiful. Man, I wish we had real wood grain like this in Peterbilt's nowadays. Dang, that felt great. Look at the spider webs. Here you go, Ryan. Hey. Uh, oh, hey. We're off to a great start, guys. He is in this here unit. Imagine you hit it. Wow! Fired right. <laughs> Dang. Oh, boy. Let's see if we can find out what year this one is. Anything on here that says anything good? Annual vehicle re inspection reportage. I don't see anything on here that says what year it is. Is there a VIN number? I don't see one anywhere. Hmm. I'm gonna reinforce that door. Oh, maybe that's factory, see that? Oh, uh, yeah. That looks factory. Pretty crazy. When trucks were actually built, this one was built pretty solid from what I can see. Wish we could find a year on it, though. 81. 11 hey. 15 of 81. It's kind of unfortunate. They only made it 15, 14 years and then it got parked. <laughs> Go ahead and climb up in there, Ryan. Check it out. See how everything looks. Get in there. Oh, there's a lot of stuff going on in there. Right there. <laughs> what do we got going on in here? Hey, it's, oh, oh, dang. This thing was fancy. It had a button to turn the light on in here. Shoot. This thing was ahead of its time. All right. We know it's got a manual transmission. Looks like it's got a big cam engine in it. But what I can see in there. Uh, nice thing about these, everyone we've ever come across starts up just by letting me just by me looking at it, so um, which isn't fun. Oh no, we might have problems. I don't see any diesel in it. That could be problematic. Oh, there's no fuel in it. Something Someone different. siphoned the fuel out of it. That ain't, that ain't good. What about the other semi? I have to go ask him if he's got some diesel fuel. And there's a filter right there. So I don't know if that was a fuel filter someone took out of it, maybe. I don't know. We may have to run to the car store. This may not be throw batteries in and it cheeches. Not good. An empty too. Dry as a bone. Ain't even hooked up though. Hmm. All right. He said that he tried jacking the cab up on it not too long ago, and one of the cab lines was busted. This cab looks pretty solid, actually. You know, like looking at everything. I don't see any major rust or anything. Hmm. 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 Maybe they got some diesel in a bucket. I just heard a hose blow. No, -uh. We found a snapper rear engine rider rear axle here. Yep. Walk over to the other side and see if you can hear, see where the hose is leaking out. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Ready? Yeah. See it leaking anywhere? Uh -huh. Might be on this side. It sounded like it was coming from over there. All right, well, blue hose. So the cab may not be coming up on this boy. Let's find the battery cables. I'm gonna come around there. See if we can maybe set some batteries in it. See if it'll even spin over before we go too far into getting fuel, things like that. So I also see a filter right here that got some rusty lines. There's the battery cable down here on the ground. In the dirt. There they are. Oh. Hey, look. 
like they're in great shape. Oh yeah, just fantastic shape. Looks like it's gonna be a 12 volt system. Okay, well, let's go grab some batteries. See if this thing will even spin over before we do anything else. So while we're grabbing our jump packs from good old and our batteries here from good old Rural King, we've got to bring up someone else to thank, and that is Lane Finder for their continued support of our Will It Start video series and our Day in the Life video series. LaneFinder.com is a company and an app that you can go to your App Store, Google Play Store, download if you have a commercial driver's license and find a new commercial driving job, whether it be you have a job you thinking you're wanting to leave or you're wanting to find something maybe a little bit better or you have no commercial driving job at all lanefinder.com is where you can go if you have a cdl to find the job you're looking for if you go to their website their app platform whichever it may be whichever one you're wanting to use you can select which area you live in what type of work you're wanting to do if you're wanting to be an over the road trucker if you want to be home every night depending on if you're wanting a flatbed all kinds of parameters on their platform there you can check out and find the job you're looking for maybe you're in a job right now that doesn't have good health insurance or they don't pay you when you're supposed to be paid lanefinder.com does all the work for you they even offer health insurance through the app guys check them out lanefinder.com forward slash bruce wilson right here link in the description below let's get to uh getting this here marmon crank today Hornblasters.com. Grab that jump box, grab the other one inside. Please. All right, we got a guest star, Spencer from Horn Blasters here with us today. These ones are much lighter than that one is. You may have to carry the batteries. Uh, the jump box is back to the Throw them in there. Dang, son. We got we got sparkage. We might have something happening here. You just fart? No. What was that noise? There's ducks. Ducks. Yeah. You farted on me. No, there's ducks out there. What? Yeah. Okay. You just farted on me, Ryan. For some reason, only this one's making a good connection. Wait, you, did you bring me a dead battery, Ryan? No, I grabbed the ones off the skin here. That's odd. I think you brought me a dead battery. I mean, they're they're rural king batteries. They're city queen batteries. Okay. Got skeeters all over me. Uh oh. I hear uh, more sparkage. That means we got something turned on inside. This thing's been sitting since 96. Isn't that crazy? Batteries engaged. We got our jump packs in case we need them. Shout out to Good All for keeping us loaded down with jump packs. All right, key on. I see a light on on the dash. Uh-oh, let's turn over. Nothing happening. Oh. Hmm. All right, Ryan, get in here. Come on. Just stand around. Get in there. Get in there, Ryan. You get in there. There must be a starter button, maybe. Hopefully. Cause I ain't doing jack. Hey, the headlights are. The headlights are on. Yeah. What? And for, for the for the just shine bright, baby. Shoot. All right. I gotta find this. Hey. They came over here. Watch it. I have a starter on it. Yeah, she. She got a starter on it. I hope so. Yep, starter's still there. All right, pray for me. Oh no, look at all the wraps. What does this do? Oh, there's the main battery switch. Hmm. Got exhaust brakes on this here engine. Look at that old shifter, that's cool. Hmm. Oh, must have, maybe this is, is that high low beams or starter button? 
high-low beam. Oh. All right, well, you know what that means, don't you? We're going to have to break out our uh, starter wires. Uh-oh. Got it? We do. Handy-dandy starter McUpham switch. So, since the uh, key switch ain't cranking it over, we're going to run this on a hot from a battery to the solenoid. Better grab some extra gator clips here. We need to power up the PT fuel pump or the PT pump on this thing. We still don't have any diesel. We may have to go rob some diesel out of the dump truck over there. Yeah, thumbnail. <laughs> Throwing up gang sign? No. You know, it's crazy. We, we never have done a will it start on an old Peterbilt sitting in the woods. Maybe one. You know why? We do Kenworth Willis starts all the time. It's because Peterbilt's are still on the road. Oh, calling them out. Mm -hmm. What about that white one? What white one? You know, the 359? That one someone wrecked. Oh. So it has a reason to be off the road. Come on, dude. Get your, get your mind right. But. All right. I'm neck deep. Ow. I'm gonna need a tetanus shot after this trip. Dang. See if I can see the starter activator wire apparatus here. There's the solenoid. That boy don't look like it's in the best of shape. Let's hook that right there. Maybe? Maybe. Maybe. Let's see if it does anything while I'm under. Wire's getting hot. Let's see. Mm. That's our activation wire there. Keep doing squat. to the ground, right? Ground. It's indeed hooked to the ground. Positive. Pretty positive still. Yes, indeed. Unless Ryan brought us dead batteries. You might have brought us dead batteries, Ryan. Good job. You told me to get the ones out of the Scania. All right. Yeah, they're definitely dead. Oh. Oh. Uh -uh. Sparkage. Something's frying in there. Did you see the sparkage? Yeah. Yeah, you brought me dead batteries, dude. What the heck? You told me to get those batteries. This was good the other day. <laughs> yeah. All right, so I think we're gonna have to hook one of these jump, jump boxes right to the starter. I have one right here. One at the starter directly. Crawl back in here again. 
You're looking at my underwear now. It'll blind you. Uh, shoot. I've been too old to bend like this. Ow. Bend like this. Ryan, I told you to bring the dang flashlight. What the heck? Hmm? It don't even look dark in there. On camera. On camera, yeah. I can't see Jack. somewhere yeah that should work as a good ground let's try that see if it's connected yep it's connected oh, oh. and it's disconnected it's connected all right try this get out of here in case it goes up in the place of glory <laughs> Ready? Yep. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, there's sparks coming. I know. Oh, there's trying. I don't know if we got a bad ground. Bad what? Bad groundage. Well, this might be our first failed wheel at start, boys and girls. Since the solenoid just crapped, we're gonna jump the hot leads on the starter and make it spin over, maybe. All right, we got 20,000 amps here. I'm gonna jump back. Right there, right there, right there. Key is on. He's in the on position still. All right, put some ice, or safety glasses on here. You never know what could happen or what might happen. Ryan, when I tell you to turn these jump packs on, sir. Okay. Let me get this right here where it needs to go first. tool handy here. Alrighty. Hang on. Both green. Hang on. Yep. Clear hit pop. it. Nope. I lied. It ain't working. There we go. Come on. Do something. 
Do something, please. Oh, shoot. That's why you wear glasses. We don't have a good ground. That's our whole problem. something happening. Well guys, this may be one we pass up on, but we're not gonna give up. We're gonna go find another Will It Start today, maybe, or find something else to get into. It is for sale. Check it out in the description down below. People, some people said they wanted to see the ones we couldn't get started. This one we probably could get started if we had the cab jacked up, had the starter off of it and stuff like that, but we're about an hour from home. We're about 30 minutes from any kind of like tool stores or anything like that or Napa, and there's no diesel in it still. So if we were to buy it and take it home, we probably would definitely 100% get it started, but you know, it's just the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Solve, I'll let you know first, all, all right? right. So what year's your dump truck here? This thing's sweet. 96. And you bought it brand new? Yep, ordered it special. Brand new, it's got an M11 Cummins, it's got 10 speed in it? Eight speed. Eight speed, okay. Eight LL. Eight LL. There you go, guys. If anyone's interested in this dump truck, you got it on Facebook yet or no? Yeah, it's on Facebook. Okay. Part. I'll find it on Facebook, put a link in the description below. Just for a thank you for letting us come out. I looked at this truck with the bed up. The frame is solid. There's not a lick of rust. This has been a Florida truck its whole life, right? Yep. Not a lick of rust nowhere. It's in good shape. And you wanted how much for it? Uh, 60000 there you go. If you guys are interested in it, check it. Link down below. Give them a shout. Let's look at the inside right quick. The inside looks really good, too. That's clean. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this has been taken care of. What year is it? 96. There you go. 96. 378, right? Yeah. No, 357. 357, okay. M11 Cummins. Play. It's got 20K front axle, I'm sure. Yeah. Big, big daddy, huh? Mm -hmm. 46 rears. Lock and rears? Yeah. And, uh, and a pusher. And beams need redone. What's that? Walking beams need redone. Oh, okay. There you go. And his dog gets to run free. Oh, shoot, you pulled it out of the weed? Yeah. Oh. When'd you do that? A little while ago. We're back out here at the semi graveyard here in Florida. What it matters is the size of that thing. Yeah, that's what. What are you gonna do with this truck? Hallelujah. I, I ain't got room. So. It's just a temporary roadblock for now. Yeah. Keep people from driving back here. Mm -hmm. People drive back in here? Oh yeah, I think it's a fucking circus or something. <laughs> for a side show. How'd you get it moved here? We drove it here. It drove right here. Oh, so after we came out, that's what you got. Yeah, we actually drove it. Yeah, what the issue is? Um, I gotta run the fuel off one side of mm -hmm. the other. I mean, crud or something, something that issue. Oh, so it ain't got steps, or it did. They got ripped off the wreck, as you can see. Yeah. I think this truck might lay, yeah, see, look at the fender. It laid over. It laid over right there. Yeah. Remember that now? It's been a while to start on this video forever, or on, on this truck forever ago. Peter has got them with the, the door open. The tree. Yeah. <laughs> So, like I said, we found our way back out here. We may try to find some parts for the, uh, we don't really need anything, but we might find something like we want. We've never come out here with like just intent to walk around and look. We're always coming here with, like, we're shooting a video on this. So, Spencer's here. I don't think he's ever been to a semi junkyard before. No. Or not really an active junkyard. It's just, they just cut all kinds of stuff here. So maybe we'll find something we need. There's all kinds of Volkswagens here too. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say he's looking for fuel tanks? I need a, Jeep. I need a small one with the Oh, you need the little boy one. He looked like he would start right up. I got no more. Taxi uh, yellow floor pants. They were talking about all the, all the Corvettes. You need to take it off from your own halfway. Oh, man. He's still trying to get going. Yeah, we need to come in here with a pair of... Uh, Pry bars are popping emblems off stuff and hang them in the shop. Mystery box. Hey, 
at BruceWilsonShop.com. Make sure y'all paying very close attention to the website in the next couple weeks. So we'll be talking about something soon. But being paying very close attention. Hey, there's your, uh, right there's your start to your snow cone truck. You can just put a pop-up tent on the back of it. Mm. Spencer snow cones. Mm. AC, ceiling maybe. Is that a bank seat? What is this, a mail truck? I don't know. I don't know. I only say mail truck. You said you like Trans Ams? What about a Grand Am? Same family. Pontiac, baby. R.I.P. Hold on. <laughs> I wonder what interior's got in it. It's like none. None. Already been sold. Dome. God, you got nothing. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Jeez. The most valuable part of it. Oh, you thought it was going to have motors? No chance. Ooh. Ah, uh, it's probably a 4L60 if it's a 1500. Let's try to open it up. You know how the old folks got like the rain gauges in their front yard? It's got yeah. a dirt gauge on the tire. It tells you how many years it's been sitting here. Growing <laughs> into the ground. I've never heard of a KH truck. Look at KH. KH. Is there a motor in it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Shit. Is there? Yeah. Oh, dude. How have we missed this truck? V6 Detroit. I wonder if this one will crank. Right up. What is it, six in the V? You sit down to pee or something? Something like that. Mm. Maybe this one will re revisit for another wheel at start. To save it. What do you think? I, I don't think so. know. I think it's past the point of saving, but I don't know. Always save it for another video. Tune in to another wheel at start on this guy right here. We'll make sure we tell Frank not to touch this one. Look how easy the starter is going to be to get through it down there. Oh, yeah. All right, close the hood on this chapter here. <laughs> you got a key in it? Hey, it's got a key. All right, enough about this. We can't reveal everything. We will be back. A little bit of exploring. Look out for snakes running. Go ahead, walk up, walk upstairs right there. Yeah. Go ahead. Come on. Go ahead. Ryan, you waited the least. You're the main star. Transmission. Dude, look at that. It's a double barrel or a double carburetor intake. Here, Spencer, you know. A double barrel carburetor? Look. I've never heard of that one before. What's the lingo for that? Spinning a four barrel, we don't, we don't no, know. No, you put two carburetors on it. And you gotta spend twice the amount of money. Double the fuel, though. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Small block over there. Okay. So much stuff. Bring a metal to take care of it. What? <coughs> Wrong pipe. Hmm. I've never been over here. It's different. Good there. Well, probably used to be like a new OEM part. Possibly. That roof got so hot at some point, that whole bumper got molded to the Lord. Maddie home yet? That's a classic Willet start right there from years and years back. Were you with me for that one? No. That was my other camera, man. Yeah. The X. That was the X. Uh, so it gets deeper. Was that the one who held the camera more safe? Oh, yeah, I never remember. Oh, yeah. Well, we could go back to the gimbal if you want. Look at all that. We didn't wear, we didn't wear the right, right pants today. No, definitely not. You know what we need is just a push mower, what, that walk behind brush cutter I had, and we just make a path where we want to go. Bring a little Honda four-wheeler out here. <laughs> where is that going to be? Probably not. A lot of these don't have engines in them. They just kind of... Yeah, same with 
walk around the corner, it's got like a full oh, mini Cooper size hole in it. Roll. You already, you already filming? Mm. Yeah. Are you actually filming? Yeah. What's that? Sweet emblem? What does it say? Chevy Silverado, baby. Silverado? That ain't pristine. There ain't none of these cat eye boys got old school in Mm -mm, could be the new train. Put that on the necklace. Oh. Right on my neck. Anybody need a Cummins? We got plenty of big cam Cummins out here. That's the same true. We call them. Six seventy one. There's a B model cat. Yellow. That's the same engine that's in the uh, RV. Right here. Probably got a little bit of water in it now. Froze up. Turbo's locked up. Okay. What engine's in over here? Probably was. Now it's not no more. Num seven digit number. Low digit. Kobe. Has that got an engine in it too? That one's got an engine in it too. I wonder what's in there. We've always went for the easy, easy to find, easy to. Oh, look at that spider! Golly! <laughs> Stop! Stop! Come get it, Ryan. No. Dude, that thing has got some arms on it. The banana spider, they don't, they won't bite you. Yeah, I don't give a crap. Come help me hold the hood open. I'm not going near that. Come on. I, I got a good image right here. A good image? Yep, yeah, I got a good shot. God. Come on, Ryan, help me. Myself, like usual. Mm. Jeez. What the hell am I paying you for? Mm. What color is it? The tan? Detroit, baby. What color Detroit. is it? Detroit? Detroit? Yeah. Dude. We might have to come back out here and just do. Oh, shoot, yeah, dude. That's a V8. Where'd that spider go, Ryan? I don't know, but I don't want to find out. <laughs> Some of these I feel like are probably locked up. All right, get a picture of this so we don't forget it. I wonder if that's got an engine in it. We should just do a reconnaissance mission out here. Ooh. We see what has engines and what doesn't. Yeah. I don't know where it went, Ryan. There's Dude. a baby right there. Yep, I see it. I freaking see it. What? That thing is big as, big as, big as. Dude, that thing is disgusting. Is that what that? Big, 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 Holy... Big. Biggest, 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 biggest. Oh. Where this one's gotten in? I don't know. It's just a banana spider. Can't go around it, gotta go through it. I don't know. Uh, Come on. Dude, I don't know. Oh. Dude, that is not, that ain't right, bro. That thing is huge. Found another 379 Pete here. After Ryan's being the biggest sissy I've ever met in my life. Dude, I just don't like spiders. Looks like a B model cat also. Yep, 3406B. See something I like about this one is our truck has got what's called our new our new cat or uh RV has got hub uh stud pilot wheels. These are hub pilot. So this might be put on what axles in this. This might be a good donor truck for like a, a drop style axle to go in our truck. Um along with the newer style brakes and stuff too, so 
Can you see in the in the anywhere where it says what year it is, Spencer? Along with a, another B model cat here. It should be um, on the lower corner of the dash, the kick panel. You'll see a yellow or a gold plate. A failed wheel at start turned into a junkyard dive. Oh. All right, look and look and tell me what engine's in this one. What? Well, which corner of it is the date? I don't know. What color is the motor? It is white, what is that? tan, green. Big cam coming. Another wheel at start. Dude, how do we thought we conquered this place? This is now the third truck we found. We're coming back. I'm not leaving. Whoa. This one's got a key for a tractor. Uh, Ryan, what the? Some spiders. These are barking spiders. What that was? <laughs> I actually could use this truck, honestly. Newer style, like leaf springs and stuff on the front of it. It's like got into a front end collision or something. What is Spencer doing in here? Look at him, he learned how to shift. He took me right in. Oh. Grabbing gears and passing. Passing what? I don't know. Freight liner. There you go. Oh, so it's got old style stud pilot or hub pilot wheels on it. Here's the hood for it. Where'd the spider go? Man? I don't see him. All right, stop. I don't see him. I'm serious. Ben. God, that hurt. Come on, dude. Get out of there. 86 ah. Chevy 2003 Silverado. Some kind of old something up in there. Joey, we're we'll going for it. Like a brand new hood up there for. Oh. I have a few stroke in it. Oh. Yeah, watch out. There might actually be snakes in there. The wilderness must be explored. Oh, I see another Peterbilt up in there. What the? Oh, God. Come on, Ryan. Yeah, look. Here, I'm, I'm going in there for you. Oh, my God. Dude, look at all the V8s. Oh, There's, like, a lot. Coffee table, baby. Oh, it's blue. Blue frame. What a sweet little you live here. Got the factory aluminum fenders? Dang. Wonder what engine's in this. Some of these factory old school Peterbilt uh, emblems were glass. Oh, hey, it's got an engine in it. Is it open? Big cam. All right, will it start number four? It's got good tires on this unit. Shoot. Just have to cut down a couple of trees to get out. Can you get that door open for me right quick? <sighs> that's, a, that's a mouthful. There's literal, literally a tree growing right through it. Literally, literally. We could just do like a week of will it starts out here. Just bang, bang, bang. Before we end the video off, guys, I wanted to recap on Blue Collar. A lot of you saw where I did post it up for sale. I've, it's no longer for sale, but just to give you a hint to what's coming and why you need to be paying attention to our website is each and every one of you will have an opportunity to own Blue Collar in the very near future. So 
Make sure you're all paying attention. Comment down below. Take any guesses as to what may be coming, but it's coming very, very soon. We're going to be moving it over to the new shop, fixing a couple things on it, making sure it's in tip-top shape, and uh, be paying attention because, like I said, you and everyone else you know will have a chance to own Blue Collar the Cab Over, guys. See you in the next couple videos. Peace.